All right, so, uh, hey, uh, looks like we are all set here. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Tech Team Trunks channel, where today we are going to be working on installing Windows 10 on Proxmox virtual environment. This is a Tech Tinktronics production, and right off the bat, we're going to need a server running Proxmox, a Windows 10 installation media program, and the ISO for Windows 10 to install into Proxmox. We got our open browser. I'm going to type download Windows 10 into the browser. and make an ISO. So what we would do is we would download the tool now to create this installation media. Okay, we have downloaded the, the creation tool to install it and run it. It's going to take a few minutes to get things ready. And we just have to sit and wait while this occurs. So the steps that we are going to follow to do this are we're going to go, we went to the Microsoft website to download Windows 10 installation media. We download, we're going to download the tool now. And then we're going to install the tool and follow the instructions within the program. So I accept applicable notice and license terms going to be getting a few things ready in the meantime we'll just go ahead and brief ourselves on the further steps um, we're, and this takes a few minutes so just be patient and uh, we should be good to go Okay, what do we want to do? We want to, to create a media. Create installation media. I'm going to make it a 64 bit. Create ISO file. I'm just going to put this ISO right on the desktop because I'm going to delete it later. Call it Windows 10. Save it. Going to get a few things ready. I'm probably going to speed this pro of the video up, as you all know. So it's got to verify the download. All right, so it's now creating the media.
Okay, we're just waiting for indication that, uh, all right, our ISO is complete. We'll finish. Okay. All right, so that we have the necessary ISO image, we're going to prepare to upload it to Proxmox. Log in to my Proxmox. And to do that, I have it bookmarked. All right. Okay. All right. So I'm logged into my Proxmox virtual environment. I'm going to go to this local disk here. I'm going to click on ISO images. And we're going to upload the ISO image that I just created. So it's going to be on the desktop. And I'm going to upload this ISO. And we'll just let it do its thing. Meanwhile, we'll get ahead in the stats. We're up five. So we're uploading the prox mocks. It's going to take a minute. Then we can, we're going to have to create the VM for Windows 10 ISO. Right, so we'll wait for the data to copy successfully. Make sure our size count is accurate. And with that in mind, let me see here. Okay, we have our ISO image uploaded into Proxmox. And now we are ready to create the VM for the Windows 10 ISO. So as you see, Windows 10 is there. I'm going to create this machine. And create a VM. It's going to be number 101. The name is going to be WIN Windows 10. Dash 3. Okay, we're going to select the ISO image in this screen. Make sure we change the OS type, Microsoft Windows. Make sure you select the appropriate range or appropriate version, I should say. We'll go to system. We'll leave this alone. Hard disk. I'm going to put it on drive two. And I am going to make it a hundred gigabytes. I'm going to go to CPU. And I'm going to put two sockets. Hmm. 12 cores is enough for me. Megabytes. I'm going to put 16384. That gives us 16 gigs of memory. I'm going to leave this alone here. So we're running at six cores. Drive two. Memory Windows 10 3 bridge on my Jupiter. Windows 10. Good to look over. All right, so I'm ready to complete this step here by clicking finish. Give it a second.
So we created the VM for Windows 10 ISO. Now we're going to go forth and run the installation process for Windows 10. So I'm going to go to console. going to hide that going to do a little moving okay i'm just going to move this over here for now so we can see what's going on and then i'm going to power on this machine click okay cuz for the notices English, United States, keyboard will be US. I'm going to install now. Let setup do its thing. Setup is starting. I'm going to click for now. I don't have a product key because we're going to get one later. I want to do pro accept the terms of the license agreement So we're going to install it. I clicked install. We got the unallocated space of 100 gigabytes that I have allocated earlier in the process. And then you have your standard install process. It's not that hard, ladies and gentlemen. It's actually really easy to do. All right, let's get this all correct. Now, I'm gonna say that we already selected the region earlier, so it's like, that's a little bit redundant. Uh, no, we don't want to add a second layout. See, we have some important setup to do, it just never ends. Network this, network that. Just a moment. Now let's see what's new from Windows. Just a moment. We will set this up for personal use. All right, so I'm going to put in my information. Enter the password for this account. Okay, we're proceeding with the next step. Create a pen number. I always do.
I create the same pen for all my Windows logins. <laughs> Alright, so now, you know, here's online speech recognition. I don't need it. I'm going to turn that off. I'm not sending that to Microsoft. I'll let them advertise, but you may not want to. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you you, you turn all this stuff off if you choose to. I'm just going through each one and just saying, yeah, you know, whatever. Like, I'm just setting the settings up to my preferences. So I'm going to say it's going to be creativity, business, entertainment. That I'm going to do this later. Next. I, I'm not really a big fan of OneDrive because I don't use it. No thanks. Not now. Hi. Hello. We're getting everything ready for you. This might take several minutes. Uh, here we go again. All right, so, uh, hey, uh, looks like we are all set here.